We're going to go over how to scan for ascites uh, before you set up for a paracentesis. Uh, ideally, you'd be doing this before you prep the patient so you can figure out where exactly to prep. Um, so I think it's important to keep in mind that, you know, for the purposes of this demonstration, we're using a small model, so we're limited. But in real life, you're going to be scanning pretty much the whole abdomen potentially to find uh, a good pocket of ascites to drain for your paracentesis. And that means that you may have to think about positioning the patient in different orientations to get the fluid in a dependent position. But for the purposes here, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about um, how we'll generally start with a curved probe, probably something that's a little bit lower in frequency to start with um, if, if it's necessary to kind of get the right penetration. Uh, but while we'll start with the curved probe, what we're going to do is see if there's an opportunity to use the linear probe. So here what we're going to do is we're going to kind of scan um, and get a sense of what is going on. And already we can kind of get a tell that maybe, you know, there's really not that much ascites here. Maybe there's some there. Um, and, you know, potentially this catches our eye here. And we say, you know what, looking at the scale, this is pretty uh, superficial. So we can kind of zoom in a little bit to get a little bit better resolution. Okay, and now we can tell that it looks like there is a collection right here, um, but because we're using the curved probe that doesn't really have as um, high of a frequency, we're having a little bit of trouble getting a sense of what's going on. So now that we see that, you know, we're kind of dealing in the um, less than five centimeter range, what we're going to do is switch over to the linear probe uh, to get a sense of if we can kind of get a little bit better resolution for this area that we're working in. Again, you know, using the, uh, the curve probe is generally what you'll start with. Uh, however, if you have an opportunity to use the linear probe, it can be useful uh, for more superficial collections or if you have a patient that um, kind of scans well and allows you to use the linear probe. And then when it comes time for the procedure, um, it can be very helpful if you're going to be doing it under image guidance to kind of use the linear probe. It's a little bit easier to track your needle. So now we have our linear probe, and already what we can do is get a little bit better sense of the collection here. So we can see that kind of this is the collection right here. Let's see if we can kind of increase our gain a little bit, get a little bit more resolution. And we can see, we're kind of scanning through, getting a sense. Can go a little bit deeper as well with the linear probe. And we can see here that this is our uh, collection. This is our ascites right here. These are deeper structures. This is kind of superficial. And we get the sense that we can do this with the linear probe. So what we'll do is later on, we'll prep the linear probe when we're doing the case. Now, the last thing um, you'll want to do, whether you are going to do the case with the curved probe uh, or the linear probe, is you will want to put the linear probe on and just get a sense of um, if there is any Dopplerable flow. So, if let's say we're kind of picking this region here, this is going to be our trajectory. What we can do is just use our Doppler flow, and let's say we're going to come from the right side um, here we'll just make sure that there's no Dopplerable flow, there are no vessels that will bleed if we accidentally uh, go through them. So this is kind of something that's generally very useful to do regardless if you're going to use the curved or linear probe. You put the linear probe on at the end of your scanning to make sure that there are no vessels. And then you can use color Doppler or power Doppler um, to get a sense of what's going on there with regards to vasculature in your trajectory.